Welcome back to Rhapsody, a musical adventure. We are indeed an outsider, right? But we are in town now. Um, trying to see if we can uh, run into the prince again. Uh, here's the monster collector. This is where we can actually sell uh, monsters that we happen to recruit. So if you're strapped for uh, ingots, I think it's what it's called. Probably not. The currency of this game, and there you go. It was not indeed ingots. I don't know where I got ingots from. But pardon me while I get a drink of water. Some very tasty water there. But, uh, we're just, you know, as you do in RPGs, just explore every nook and cranny, see what we can find. Boy, we found in all kinds of goodies. Like white candy. We'll be coming across that captain later down the road. came in the middle of that conversation there, but that's okay. So yeah, 16 years ago, there was a war that broke out. Some, uh, uh, what's, what you call it, um, some artwork of the game in the background there. Concept art, that's what it is, concept art. Second party member, or well, that's our second puppet. Hey, dude! And this is Kid, the youngest of the Egg Brothers. We'll be seeing a lot of them in the uh, playthrough. Play that funky horn, do that. Totally ready to kick some butt. I take loads of damage. Or I do loads of damage. Do that. Like it says, in close range combat, you know. Because of the action. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, let's earn a little bit of, little bit of coin here.
Ooh. as a tip. You need that was a tip. Now for a restaurant on a lake, I'm not really seeing so much of a lake. There we go. Now we have a idea of what to do. Setting gear of NIS games is always kind of odd. It's like fantasy, but you know, there's technology and slang. It's it's a hodgepodge of everything with these games. Basically, these two grow up, they're childhood friends, etc, etc. Go more in depth into it as the game goes on. Again, NIS tends to do pop culture stuff at the time, so some jokes might be outdated, and I just might not catch it. Of course, this um Atlas did the translation for this at this time, so this is on Atlas at this point, maybe. Because I don't know, if they made up the di I don't think they made up the dialogue for this game. when bringing it to English. I think it was like uh, almost a straight translation. Well, straight as Japanese to English as you can get. But uh, I believe there we sign up for the fan club which will come into play later. Let's go visit the castle for a little bit. Oh boy, 84 pieces of currency. <laughs> Indeed, he is a hero. 
と Little bone is there. Oh, Easter eggs and whatnot. Won't be the only time we'll be seeing that, though. Spoiler alert. In front of a priest. You know, bloodlines and whatnot with uh, royalty. But hey, you know, if he did that, there would be a lot of inbreeding and whatnot, so... At some point, you gotta, you gotta say, hey. Um, okay. Some rude people, man. You got a job, and you know in your deep down that you are happy and grateful for that. An armed soldier? And two. Just and two. Yeah, those are the bodyguards of our rival there, so uh, we'll be seeing more of them as well. Take all the naps you can, buddy. In life, you'll eat them. Alright, I think that's enough to pass. Alright, let's head back to the forest. Or, let me make myself look like a liar and just head back to the village. Check to see if any dialogue has been altered, I suppose. Alright, well, wasn't that fun? 
All right, let's really go back to the one of those. All right, now we have to go find that lake. We came across it earlier. Oh, no random encounter this time. We're gonna take a slight detour though. Now that we have Kid in our party, let's head over to this cave. Because once you have Kid, you can get yourself another puppy. Puppet. Puppets. Toys of the puppet variety. There's some combat with a kid in it. Fighting battle that was. Oh, we just hit each other. Ooh. Now, in this game, you can actually unlock illustrations, which is just concept art and whatnot for uh, of the game. It's, it's you know a nice little incentive to go out of your way to look at nooks and crannies and whatnot. We will be getting all of these in this playthrough. I believe. I believe I got them all. I, I hope I got them all, at the very least. So I can at least say I beat this, you know, I did a 99% playthrough of this game. Alright, so this is Tell. He's an archer. Obvious by his, uh, his bow there. Uh, like I uh, said earlier, we're going to be seeing the Egg Brothers quite a bit. We're going to be using them a lot in this playthrough because variety. Or, well, lack of variety. I'll move around while that text box is still there. Alright, now let's replace the mushroom with tail here. So we can start leveling him up. Now, uh, in this game, uh, and a lot of NIS games, actually, uh, if you don't go out of your way to, to, uh, do special bonuses and skills and whatnot, uh, leveling up characters, um, people outside the party don't level up with the characters that's in your party, and personally, I prefer that way, but that's just me. Because, I, I don't know, I just feel more... It feels more, it feels more satisfying when I can level up each character individually. It, it just feels like I've done it, if that makes sense. Even though i mentioned before in later NIS games, if you have the skills to have other people's game levels outside of the battle, that's possible. And I do do that too, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just crazy. I have to fight these frogs. It's okay. Nothing happened. It was just a blackout. That cost me some MP. Alright, here we are at the river. Nope, oh, there's some. Bobos are these fish thingies. I mean, obviously they're gonna be fish, but they're, they're, they're that kind of fish. Because we 
get out some musical notes here. How about a cake attack? Huh, that was simple. Everybody's getting some level ups here. Oh, I think it's our favorite feline group. from afar, which is really, really handy, because you can hit them from over there. Here are those felines. Alright, now that we have some fish, we gotta figure out how to cook the fish. Which is actually not that hard. We just head home, back in our kitchen. Because our kitchen is the best kind of kitchen. Plus, it, it is our kitchen, because it'd be kind of weird if we walked into somebody else's place and used their kitchen just to cook something. Just a tad bit. Somebody's very happy. Orange fish? Because there's some uh, rude ladies blocking the way back at the castle. Oh, but it seems like Kururu has a plan. What that puppet was saying was, I think we touched on it too. About did we touch on it? I honestly don't remember. Uh, I'll go more in depth about it in uh, another video. But for now. Kuru seems to know a uh, secret alternative to get into that castle to meet the French. And we're gonna find out where this... And we're gonna... Exp well, 
we're gonna see this path in the next part of this video. So until then, this is Dishon on Pal. I know English. This has been Rhapsody and Musical Adventure, the PS1 version, and I will catch you in the next part.